<laughs> What's up, Electric All Wheel? We have an event in Cinch, and we've got a customer who is looking forward to adding a dual battery discharge balancer. Baron's happy about it too. He is all about doing this work. Uh, so I've got the Aventon Fit Kit from Electric All Wheel. It has the two braided extensions, the 40 amp balancer for the plus 20 amp controller on these bad boys, and then it's got the XT60 adapters. In the event that this controller was manufactured prior to them switching over to the XT60 connectors. So we're gonna open this up, do a quick install. I don't have the key, so I'm gonna have to show you with it broken apart that it does light up with the extra battery. We're gonna use the 48 volt 10 amp hour recommended battery that we use on a lot of our bikes, and then just hook it up so you can see what it looks like. This is gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Website's coming along, we're trying to work on that. We also have our braided cables on Amazon, so if you see them out there check them out this thing is going to be great so we have the 48 volt 10 amp hour amazon battery the recommended battery that we have for a lot of our kits so this is what we're going to use to sh demonstrate the dual battery situation you can install a much bigger battery just make sure it's a 48 volt to match the voltage rating for the controller and the event in cinch here we go So first I'm going to get off my faceplate so that I can get access to the controller. I'm likely going to have to swing this back in so that I get enough space because this line is pretty tense right here. So I can get enough space to actually roll it off of the cables and see inside there. So know that's loose. There we go. Inside this setup, we don't have XT60s, we actually have bullet connectors. So the kit comes with two XT60 to bullet adapters. So make sure that we don't short these out, so don't let there be a cross connect on the power cable. And then we're gonna take our XT60 and we know that this line is from a battery, so that'll be battery in on the discharge balancer. So that's here. Plug that in. And then we know that this is out to the controller. So that is this section. So we'll plug this in. Plug that in and then get the negative cable in. And what we can do right now is demonstrate that it comes on. And it does. Everybody sees the connection. I just stood up and it's on. Now what we'll do is we will disconnect 
the factory battery from the discharge balancer. And then we will just plug in the 48 volt external recommended battery. So this will be the hookup. The factory battery is unplugged right now and then we'll turn it on and test it out. And there we go. All right, I know that with my cables, the cable is going to have to come through the frame and this is going to be the end that plugs in. So I need to put this end up through the frame and then bring it out into the housing. There we are. So this is the cable running out through the hole in the bottom. And then I'm gonna plug it in as a battery. And then I'm gonna plug in my factory battery. And then I know I need to Get that seated. And then our balancer will fit right in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my second to the cable that went through so I make sure I have the extension. And then I'm gonna pull that line slack out of there. There we go. And now I'm doing fitment for the wiring. And I know that there's plenty of room on the underside. So I'm gonna run that down below. Making sure that all my silicone covers are good, plugged in. And then I'm in. And then I'm gonna bring my body back to close. Open it back up again. Or actually, I need to rotate it around. There we go. So I've run my cable. I know it's out through the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is just loop it over and then use these straps to hold it against it right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in. Fit this extra K 
cable into the bag so it's not hanging out and then zip it closed. And there you have it. This is actually working. Uh, I know this flop in this bag doesn't really suit a lot of people, but personally I would use this anyway because I know that uh, my legs are gonna be down in this range over the crank. Uh, and then I would probably find some way to keep it from flopping all over. Maybe lower it here and then let it rest right here. I think it would have enough good coverage to stop that. Um, another route would be to come up and put a battery on the rear rack. You are not isolated to a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery. You can get any amp hour 48 volt battery you want. So you can have 100 amp hours added to your bikes. Just make sure that it's rated at 48 volts and you're good to go. Uh, this is a great bike. Aventon makes a good one. Uh, remember that the older uh, Aventon cinch have the bullet connectors and then the new ones have moved on to the XT60s. Regardless, the adapter will be included in the kit. So you guys can just, once you get it out, of course, the older ones are going to require more space for wiring, but you just saw that it was demonstrated that it works, so don't worry about that. Check out all of our other e-bikes that we've done. We've got a Hemiway Zebra, we've got the Aventon Adventure, Electric, their entire lineup except for the XP Premium, and then I know that I can get into some retrospects and a lot of other bikes. I just haven't gotten my hands on them. So bear with us while we get there, but this is a good one. This will get you as far as you want to go. If you're carrying saddlebags, I've seen a lot of amp hours put on these bikes. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Give us a like and subscribe. Check out our e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida Facebook group if you're interested. I'm really a big fan of the Facebook groups. They help a lot and they bring a lot of information to people that are new to e-bikes. And I hope you think that we do too. We'll talk to you next time.